Now, someone pointed out to me that I'd not actually produced a circuit diagram of the decoy MOSFET driver. And that's quite true, I hadn't. I hadn't drawn it uh, down on paper at all. Uh, but now I have. And so here it is. And, uh, and yes, this light will be flashing on and off the whole way through this video. Um, but I'm just going to point out, um, try and explain how this thing works. But I've put it on my MOSFET uh, tutorial test bed just for the moment. So I'll just go through how the uh, elements of this are set up. So on the left here, we've got a little Arduino Pro Mini doing the one second on, one second off flashing. And uh, you can probably see actually from the light that when the green LED on the Arduino is on, the big light bulb is actually off. And that's because the decoy MOSFET driver does produce a logical inversion. So let's just go through what's going on here. Now, the uh, Arduino is being powered from 12 volts, but of course the first thing that happens is it goes through a three terminal regulator. I think it might be that thing there. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's it. And uh, that produces five volts. So I've got five volts here on the red and brown wires. So on the uh, decoy driver, on the top of the LED chain, you put five volts and that runs through all four LEDs, the red, the infrared inside the um, opto-isolator, the other opto-isolator, and the other red, which you can see there on the decoy driver. And the bottom of that chain, of course, goes to zero volts. The microcontroller's digital output goes through the 220 ohm resistor to the midpoint of that chain. And you can see, probably, possibly, possibly not, the 220 ohm resistor is just in the middle of those two LEDs there. So the third wire here, the yellow one, is the microcontroller's digital output. It's coming from D13 there on the Arduino. So um, when the microcontroller goes high um, on the diagram here, it actually provides a current source for the bottom pair of LEDs. And when this output pulls low, it provides a current sink for the top pair of LEDs. And therefore, when the uh, microcontroller's green light goes on, when it's high, you actually get the bottom LED here coming on. And when this output goes low, the top LED comes on. Now, the way this MOSFET is wired, the gate of the MOSFET is going to this midpoint here between the two opto transistors. So when the upper opto turns on, the MOSFET's gate is being pulled to the higher voltage, which in this case is positive 12 volts. When the lower opto turns on, the MOSFET gate is being pulled down to the lower voltage, zero volts, which is also the source pin. So I had to be careful here labeling this. I called it MOSFET high and MOSFET low. I couldn't call this source because although this is the source of the MOSFET for an N channel, for a P channel, um, the higher voltage will be the MOSFET source. So I've just called it MOSFET high, MOSFET low. The MOSFET gate is connected directly to the midpoint of the two opto transistors. Now, when I did my piece on um, MOSFET to microcontroller interfacing, for the simple case of an N channel MOSFET on the low side, I simply connected the gate directly to the microcontroller output. And that worked, and you didn't get the logical inversion. But of course, the problem with that is that um, the gate of the MOSFET was only getting 5 volts. Well, with this uh, decoy MOSFET driver in place, although you get the logical inversion, not a major issue because you can take that out in software. The gate here is receiving the full 12 volts when this upper uh, opto-isolator turns on. The gate is going fully up to 12 volts. And it's also being pulled fully down to ground when the lower uh, opto-isolator turns on. So it's a much better solution from the point of view of getting a low on resistance than uh, tying the gate directly to the digital output. Now the decoy driver also works um, with a p-channel MOSFET. So here's the p-channel MOSFET on the high side of the circuit and a piece of wire on the low side. And um, here of course when the decoy driver goes high or rather the upper uh, opto isolator is turned on, this one up here, 
the bulb is turned off because of course um, when this upper transistor turns on it pulls the gate to source. Source is up here this time on plus 12 volts. Um, so there's a, an inversion here and of course there's the inversion um, in the digital side as well. The end result of which of course is that when the uh, Arduino green light turns on so does the 20 watt bulb. And as I showed in one of the MOSFET tutorials, you can also use this um, decoy MOSFET driver to drive an N-channel MOSFET on the high side using a bootstrap capacitor. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the capacitor actually on a slightly modified version of this decoy driver. So the capacitor will simply sit across the upper collector and the lower emitter and will act as the power supply for the MOSFET and then the diode um, will be added in as well. But I'll make another decoy driver with that capacitor on the board for when I do my next MOSFET tutorial. And uh, so here's a final look at the decoy MOSFET driver circuit diagram consisting of the two uh, opto-isolators which are Sharp PC 817s or EL 817s, the Everlight version. Two discrete red LEDs there on the left um, and a 220 ohm resistor for the, uh, the output of the uh, microcontroller.